Hi, my name is Tim with OS College, and this is a LibreOffice quick video. In today's video, I would like to demonstrate how to insert a table using the Insert Table dialog, and I would also like to, to demonstrate one of the ways to rename a table. Renaming a uh, table names can be, be very important when you have a long a long document with several tables in it. For example, in in the navigator it, it, that lists the different elements I have in a document, it shows that I have two tables. I can jump to the first one and jump to the second one. They're both called table one and table two. However, it might be a good idea to give your table better names. I will get to that in a second. However, first, let me demonstrate how to insert a table. And before it's inserted, I will give it a unique name. So to do that, I go up to the table menu and just simply click insert table. That launches the insert table dialog. And so what I'm going to do here is just give it a new name and I'm just going to call it Purus. And then I'm going to set the number of rows, the columns and rows. So let's go ahead and give it four columns and three rows. And I can go through other settings such as whether it has a heading and I can I can pick a style for it. And I'll give this one a little bit different style than the, the other tables that are already inserted in my document. And when I'm done, simply click, I'll simply click insert and the new table is in there. Let me add some information in it. And if you notice that the new table is called Purus, it's not called table one or table three like it, it was originally. So it doesn't match these two, but we're going to change those here in a second. So I'm just going to add a few data points. I'm not going to fill up the table fully. Oops. B. And then I'll do one more. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now I'm going to give these new new tables, these these tables that were already in there, new names. And I will go ahead and jump to that one. The first one, table one, and I will simply call it based on one of the elements or one of the, the uh, uh, name, the text that's in one of the cells. So let me go ahead and just copy that. And then I'll go over here and I will right click on it and just simply use, use a rename and then paste that in the dialog that appears, rename object, table one, new name, elementum. As you can see, that changes in the navigator. And I'm going to go ahead and jump to table two, and I'm just going to call this one, I just this blend it. So I'm going to just copy that and right click on it again, edit, oops, not edit, sorry. Uh, and then click rename. And then where it says table two, new name, going to paste in the blend it and then click OK. And as you can see, the three tables have unique names now. And this helps identify your tables if you need to, if you have a long document that's six pages or more, for example, to to be able to, to know, know what each table is about. 
So if you need to j jump to a, cer a certain table with certain information in it, it's easier to do with a with a unique name. And to jump to a table, you simply double click on it in the in the uh, navigator. And that was your and that's been your LibreOffice quick video of the day. Quick videos are designed to give short tips on how I use LibreOffice. Thank you for watching. Check out the other videos on this YouTube channel and be sure to uh, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and then clicking the bell to get notifications.